I'm Austin. And we're the owners of the company Ishuba. Uh, so I'm the CEO, VP of Product Design, and VP of Finance. Uh, I'm VP of Marketing, VP of Sales, and VP of Manufacturing. And I'm the Director of Research. Okay, so the problem when running, isn't it annoying to always have to check your phone or watch? Always having to look down at your phone or watch is distracting and it impacts your speed when running. Runners like a light and hand-free run. Personally, I do. Ishubot will enable runners to run light and without distractions. So our solution is um, a shoe that will make a revolution. Uh, that um, is a revolution. As a revolutionary shoe that allows runners to run without distraction and concentrate on the road. Okay, our product is a shoe that has a speaker on it with voice recognition. Uh, our easy voice activated shoes functions are track miles, track time, tells you the time, and how, tells you how much time you use to run the miles. All while the runner is looking forward and focused. The way it works is you say track miles, and then for example, like the shoe will tell you you ran blank miles, and you say time, and it'll tell you the time. Uh, here's a rough sketch of our, what our idea was. Uh, so we'll put the voice activation features at the top. These are just holes to let air out of the shoe. The speaker will be on the side of the shoe, and there's a button on the back to turn it on and off. So if you're going on a casual walk, it doesn't say random things. And then from the side, you can see the speaker. And on the bottom, um, there's a charging. There's a charging place. So overnight, you can just put it on the charging pad for it to charge. So why us? Well, as experienced cross-country runners, we personally have experienced these problems, including my sister who sprained her ankle from not looking at the road and missed the whole entire cross-country season. So our niche is, um, it will be directed towards cross-country runners in the teenage to young adult range, so, um, from 13 to about like 25 to 30. Okay, uh, there, we have many competitors in our market. For example, there's the Nike hybrid app and others. Uh, our, the difference between us and others is that uh, we have high tech integration and the sums are, some are much more expensive. For example, the Nike hybrid app comes at an astounding price of $700, while the only function it has is that it has self-lacing uh, shoelaces. Um, others such as the Adidas one, uh, are much more affordable than our product, but their uh, technology is much worse. Uh, the Adidas one, all it does is it makes your foot more comfortable with heat. So there's about 55.9 million people in the US that run. Our goal is to capture 0.01% of that market, which is basically 55,900 runners. We also surveyed our cross-country team, and all of them carried a watch or a phone while running. Which shows big opportunity. So our marketing plan is we will advertise on running our cross-country websites with the majority age groups, as I said, 13 to like 25 or 30. And we'll also um, advertise on Facebook and other social media websites, and as well as local running events and races by using flyers and posters. Okay, um, the running shoe will cost around $30 to make. Um, this does not include the technology such as the speaker and the voice recognition. And we'll price it at $220 retail uh, price. Our plan is to sell the shoe uh, to the US only right now online. So this is our financial projections. So as you can see, <coughs> oh, it's 2018, 2019, and 2020. Um, these are all four quarters. So basically the first quarter would be like from January to March and the second like from April to uh, June and stuff like that. So it shows all our um, uh, shoes sold each quarter as well as the cost per shoe, the total cost, price, revenue, profit, our salary, um, the research and development, and our marketing. So 2018 we, um, we will make a revenue of about $300,000 and a profit of 255000 In 2019 it will be one point seven eight five million dollars for with a profit of about one point three million. So we
We are looking for an investment of $100,000 for R&D and manufacturing. We'll hire a tech team to make the speech recognition and speakers. We'll also start a Kickstarter campaign for our shoe. Yeah, this is where the technology comes in after we manufacture the running shoes itself. And um, when we include the technology, it will cost about $60 to $65 to make. Yeah. Uh, our team at uh, Issue Bot, thanks you for listening, and we'd be We'd like to answer any questions you may have.